Well, good day to all of you who've joined us on a day where the conditions are anything but perfect. The skies have opened up, there has been a sizable downpour in the lead up to kick off, and there is little sign of improvement. Some mild concern on the faces of the officials, but the amongst the boisterous crowd couldn't be much more different. They are creating a tremendous atmosphere. On a day like this, in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be with or without the rain. This place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibels spared in this collective chorus. Wales appear to be going with a 3-5-2 formation, Jim. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter-attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing-backs and potentially two runners from central midfield. You can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own. the whistle Lam and it's played forward Lod oh that's neat Lod and the defence can get it clear Oh, they could break here. Thomas. Oh, that's a key interception. Yeah, the crowd have tried to spark some excitement, but to no avail. This needs something explosive. More. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Out to the right. James! James! Finland can start a counter here. Lod. To Lam. Lod. It's a crossfield ball towards the other flank. Sends it forward. Well, that is one way to stop him. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. He's gone for it! Glorious! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order!
and Finland are ahead. A true beauty of a goal, so brilliantly executed. Well, he made it look effortless, clearly a training ground perfectionist. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Thomas. Williams. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. And we are already promptly back on the way. Wales need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Hops for safety. Oh, it's a promising build-up, this. Plenty of really nice passing. Poshan Palo. Brilliantly cut out. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. <laughs> In towards the middle. That's an excellent interception. Wales are definitely going about this the right way. They're coming again and again. Spot on, Peter. Lodd, who has made his impact already, threads one in. Now it's Pocha and Paolo. Oh, important interception. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Finland surely have to be commended for their drive and desire. Most teams would be taking the easier defensive route by now. James. James going full tilt down the left. Wales really might just end up kicking themselves after that. That could well have been it. James concedes a free kick for that. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. <laughs> Lam, Finland clearly now in lead preservation mode. If they're good enough to keep the ball at this stage, it should. It should see them through. And that will be the final act.